Hi everyone, today I am going to teach you basic color shading techniques or you can say the color mixing techniques. Before starting, you should know the three basic tones of shading. It means light, middle and dark tones. Okay, I first for the lighter tone, your pressure on your color should be this much, very light. Okay, holding pencil very lightly gives you a lighter shade. Okay, that pressurizes very light. Okay, then for a middle tone, your pressure on the pencil should be little more. Little increase the pressure, you will get that middle tone. Okay, for the darkest tone, use more pressure, more pressure on your pencil will give you the darkest tone of the single color which you are using. Let's see how it comes. Okay, so first we are going to learn different tones of one color. I am using a green color, middle tone, for a lighter shade. Okay. Lighter shade means very less pressure on your pencil. Whichever color or pencil color or pastel, soft pastel color you are using, very light. Then, gradually you increase the pressure on your pencil. Since I am using pencil color, I am saying pencil, okay? So, this way you get a little middle tone. For a clean and beautiful coloring effect, you should use the color in one direction. Okay. Then for a darker shade, gradually you increase more pressure on your color. You will get a darker shade. And it's done. So you can see here the variation of one color. How it comes. The light tone, the middle tone and the dark tone. Okay. Then we will learn basic mixing of two colors. We will take two colors. Dark green and light green. And mix these two colors to get a mixing effect. Okay. We'll start with light green. Lighter tone of light green. Then we have the middle tone. And then the dark tone. Okay. Then we are going to use dark green color. Okay. We'll use it from the lighter part of light green. Okay, first we will do the darker shade. And we will do the mixing effect. We will come to middle tone. Okay, more darker effect, on layering we get a smooth texture, so I prefer you, once you have done the mixing, again you have to do 
layering This is a two color mixing effect. You can see how it comes. Dark green and the light green. Two colors we have mixed. Now we will learn mixing more than two colors. Okay. For a variation of one color. Like for example we want the shades of green. So we will be using, I'll be using these four colors. Okay. Very light green, then light green, and uh, these two. Okay, let's start. We'll start with the lightest color. Then we will take a color shade which is darker than the first shade. Okay. So now you can see the difference between the first, second and the third part. Okay. The more colors you mix, the more beautiful effect you will get. Okay. Now the basic mistake what people do in the starting is that they mix the two colors. They don't mix the two colors from one point they start one color and from another point they start the another color but they stop it here we are using the color starting from this point light shade and ending inside it goes inside the darker shade okay then you will get the mixing effect okay so let's learn this with two different colors we'll be using two different colors okay taking on red and yellow Okay, lighter shade first. I'm using yellow first. Now here we will go darker to light. Okay, dark shade I will be using. Because when we are using two different colors, we should get both the colors both the colors should be seen okay it shouldn't be like we are using red and yellow and we are just able to see red color and orange color and we are not getting yellow we'll be using both the colors and both the colors will show their unique properties So from darker shade
so this is the shading effect both the colors here we are getting yellow color red color and in between the mixing part we are getting orange as well okay now we will see what are the mistake which people usually do in mixing the two colors they start with one color and end the color here okay then they start the another color and they end it here now you can see the difference between the first one and the second one in this you are getting a very blended color showing the three colors the third color has come from the mixing of the two colors that is the orange color which you can see over here but here we are not getting any orange we are just getting a yellow little bit of yellow and a bit of red so this is this is what the mistake which everyone do okay so this is a simple basic color shading techniques which i have you